And before we get started, let's make sure that we click that subscribe button and make sure that you click the bell to make sure you get all the notifications that for the videos I drop. All right, guys, welcome back to another champion update video. Now, it's been a while since I've done a champion update video. I think the last one was Venom after his update. Uh, but I wanted to highlight a champ that I am excited to use for my first Labyrinth of Legends run. We all know who the one-armed champion is. It is Aegon. Aegon came to the contest a while back. Uh, I was lucky enough to pull him. I was needing a good skill champ and was able to awaken him and throw a lot of six stones at him. But taking him through Realm of Legends after watching Brian Grant's run, just to get some practice. And I got to Wolverine. It's like, why is Aegon so good? What makes him not have to worry about the regen? Why is he able to take him down with, I would say, minimal effort on a champ that has a half a million health points? Well, I think that if we take the time, let's rewind the video and let's talk about the champion that we know as Aegon. Alright, so this Aegon is rank 4, level 55, SIG level 112, which means at the end of each fight he carries over 59.7% of his final combo meter at max SIG, I believe that's uh, 75%. A base critical rating is 0, and critical rate is increased by 31.2 for each hit on the combo meter. Any critical rating Aegon will receive from the source other than his combo meter is converted directly into a critical damage rating. If you're looking at his base combo meter or his passive combo meter uh, Egon at 5 hits has a 40% chance to draw off debuffs at 10 hits his critical damage rating is increased by 12.37 for each hit on the combo meter at 20 when the opponent evades Egon activates a combo shield for 5 seconds and has a 45% chance to become unstoppable for 2 seconds it's great against those evade champs um, at 30 hits Egon can strike with a critical hit even when the opponent is blocking so he can hit those blocks on those champs that are sitting there holding it for a long time at 50 hits charging a heavy grants Egon one second of an unstoppable and cannot be activated during his heavy attack ability is on cooldown uh, which means that there's a little counter that he counts down on at 75 hits, the opponents have negative 85% block proficiency when Aegon strikes with a critical hit. Uh, at 100 hits, critical hits have 100% chance to struck off one debuff. And at 150 hits, critical hits grant 7.75 seconds of true accuracy. Uh, so therefore, he doesn't have, he can help with those evade champs and those auto block champs. At 200 hits, um, his critical rating is ignored 100% of opponents' physical resistance. And 300 hits, Critical hits grant a fury buff, increasing attack by 401 for one second. They can stack up to three of those. At 500 hits, he can do 100% reduction of defensive ability accuracy uh, on his next critical hit, on the hit after actually the next critical hit. And at 750 critical hits, grant 1.5 seconds of unstoppable and a combo shield. And they can stack up to three of those. And at 1,000 hits, critical hits cause Aegon's next hit to become unblockable. So we're looking at those abilities, we can talk about how we can see why now Aegon is so great against certain champs, especially in those longer fights, especially those long distance fights like Le Labyrinth of Legends and Realm of Legends. Um, looking at his heavy attack, he can charge his combo shield and cannot lose more than 5% of maximum health from a single source other than a special for 6 seconds. So that's pretty great there. All right, let's talk about a little bit of synergy bonuses. We've got David and Goliath with the champion. Gets 20% attack when fighting larger champions. Great for those Hulk fights and things like that. We've got Combo Breaker, where you get a combo shield after being hit once. Uh, so you get it one time per fight. Uh, with Angela, Proxima, and Captain Marvel, you get 25% potency to Fury effects. Um, so you can gain a Fury when you step back and hold the block. And then last but not least, we got Sentry with well-timed blocks. Can get a critical hit on the next hit. Um, so that helps with his crit rating and kind of builds that up a little bit. So let's look at a couple of his special attacks. Uh, special one is an ISO Discharge where he releases a Phantom Limb blast from his arm. Uh, special 2 is a Spear of Forsaken. He actually has a spear that has 100% chance to inflict bleed over 6 seconds that he 
regenerates from his arm that deals 200.5 direct damage for each hit on the combo meter. And then for his special three, Beyond Limits, where he kind of flies through the air, smashes the ground, and um, has a stun that can build from that that can last up to eight seconds based on the combo meter. What does that mean for all you suicide runners? Doing a special three, obviously, is a way to avoid suicide uh, recoil damage. But it also allows you guys to do more medium light, like medium attacks and build that crit rating up. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the team I use with Aegon here. Obviously, we have Aegon at the top spot. And then we're going to add in, uh, not the champion, but we could have. But we went with Proxima for the combo shield. And then we also went with Angela. On, now, I could have not went with Angela there, but I needed Angela for a different part of the synergy. Um, so that's coming up, and I'm getting ready to add Thor Ragnarok um, as my other champ, which I had to find him there. Uh, he does have something with Proxima, but does not qualify for this fight. And then last but not least, uh, we're going to be adding Heimdall. Heimdall actually has a very unique synergy with Angela and Thor Rags. With Thor Rags, he regenerates 15% of the missing health that you have and with Angela they will add a fury uh, for you at the when you sit back and hold back block for one and a half seconds all right so we got the team now set up um, already went through most of the path we just want to jump back into the Wolverine Realm of Legends fight to kind of let you see it again as you can see right there at the parry we got the combo shield activated along with the unstoppable um, that happens right after you have 750 hits we were walking in with 791 uh, we won't get to a thousand but if we had a thousand we go um, uh, unblockable with every hit that we, we crit on um, so let's just enjoy the rest of the fight if you guys like the video or you want to see more like this, let me know down in the comments below. Um, please share this out with friends. Please share this with your alliance mates. Let them know how awesome that Aegon is as a champion. Now I'm going to let you sit back and enjoy the rest of the fight. As you can see, he took out Aegon fairly quickly. So with that being said, I wanted to bring you guys one more fight. Uh, and that fight is going to be the end of the Realm of Legends fight against Hulk. Uh, for those wondering, is Aegon any good besides places like Labyrinth of Legends or Realm of Legends? Uh, anywhere that you could take him for long fights, um, you could also take him in places like AQ where you have a lot of fights and can carry a combo. Uh, any place where you can do any of that, I think Aegon would be very successful there as he can turn off uh, different things uh, between his combos. Alright y'all, so I will catch you next time. Peace.